Chapter 12, monetary policy, basically. I think it's called uh, Money Banking in the Federal Reserve. I believe that's correct. Uh, the first question is, what is money? Well, what is it? Is it uh, little pieces of green paper that we trade? Is it uh, Spanish pieces of eight? Is it uh, canned mackerel? What is it? Well, it's whatever we agree it is, really. Money is any good that is widely accepted for purposes of exchange and the repayment of debt. That's money. So money can be uh, shells to the Native American once upon a time. Money can be uh, pieces of eight. Money can be uh, tins of mackerel, believe it or not. Still are, actually. If you look up uh, mackerel, or rather, yeah, you may do enough research to find that in one uh, United States institution, it is one of the most common forms of money. It is. We'll get to that. Currency. Currency is paper, bills, and coins. The stuff you put in your wallet or your pocket uh, or your purse or wherever you keep your money. Uh, your paper money. All currency is money. Okay. Not all money is currency. As I said before, uh, some money is mackerel tins. The place where that is money is in the United States penal system. It used to be cigarettes, but cigarettes are no longer available for inmates, so now they use tins of mackerel for a couple reasons. Uh, one is it is just about $1 per tin. Uh, sometimes you'll find sardines, uh, but tinned fish will go with that. Cost about a dollar per tin, and it is it has a shelf life. You can consume it, but uh, it's totally legal in the prison system. There's that. Uh, some individuals also will use ramen noodles, which again, uh, it's a little less than a dollar, I believe. Uh, I get them in a 12 pack, so I'm not sure. Uh, but it's still a medium of exchange, which is one of the functions of money. There are three functions of money. Medium of exchange, meaning uh, you can trade it for something else. Uh, you can uh, determine what a item is worth based on the number of dollars it costs. In that regard, it's a unit of account. Uh, any of you accounting majors know that you have to use you have to use consistent uh, amounts, the U.S. dollar, anytime you report on your financial statements or your ledger book. It has to be the U.S. dollar because it doesn't really fluctuate that much, uh, and you can't go from U.S. dollar to say Chinese yuan and then uh, British sterling silver or pounds rather. Uh, you just you have to stick with one because it is a unit of account. It's easily, uh, you can easily look at an item and have a basic idea of its value based on the number of dollars that people say it's worth. Lastly, it is a store of value, meaning if I were to take a dollar bill and put it under my mattress right now, in one year, that dollar is going to be pretty much the same amount. Uh, we're going to lose, what, 2 or 3% due to inflation. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, about the same dollar. And that 3%, because of uh, all the reasons we've talked about before, such as menu costs, that dollar's pretty much going to be the same value. Uh, the U.S. dollar's value holds up very well. So much so that a number of other countries will just uh, invest in dollars. They'll just get uh, tangible greenbacks, $100 bills in stacks, and hold on to those because their currency in different nations, there might be rapid inflation, like uh, what happened in Venezuela not too long ago and is still happening. Uh, but the US dollar tends to uh, store its value. So the functions of money, medium of exchange, unit of account, and store of value.